I love the fact that you're holding others accountable. I love the reciprocity associated with that. We ourselves cleaning up the house before we start, you know, talking to others about cleaning up their own. Love that excellent message that's out there. I especially love the fact that you are a very approachable person. You know, you're not a million miles an hour screaming at people. You're not looking to do the drill instructor thing. You know, that's that's the other side of this that a lot of people hear. Whoa, this guy's a Marine. He's going to be super, super, super intense because that's just how we all are, I guess. But when you go to MikeKitko.com and you see how he is, I'm talking about this is a jovial person, man. This is somebody who's living with purpose right here, not someone who's going to rake you over a cheese grater, okay? So get in touch with Mike Kitko. Go ahead, go to MikeKitko.com. Make sure that you grab The Imposter in Charge. I'm going to have to get that book. I'm going to have to read it and give you fine folks a, a book review on this one. So check out MikeKipko.com. If you're a leader out there, you believe that your people could draw inspiration, a little courage, strength, and hope out of the message that's coming along here. All right, go ahead, get in touch with Mike Kitko. Bring him in your organization. He's going to be able to inspire whole audiences of your people. How do you get that accountability out of your people? How do you get that mission buy-in out of your people? Are they themselves living with a purpose, right? If you're hurt, imagine how many others are climbing the ladder right now that could uh, benefit from this message. So go to MikeKitko.com, check him out. Marine veteran, serious, massive ownership of the situation that he was in resonates with you, the leader, to be able to empower you. So you will find courage, strength, and hope, I'm sure, just in reading through his story. Honestly, I was very shocked in reading through your story at how openly you admitted those things in a public, sp in a public space. And that level of accountability is huge for me. Man, what, one, of the, one of the most painful things I have to work with, especially the guys that I work with, right? The ladies are a little, little more open to it. But the guys struggle because they feel like, man, and this is the imposter in charge, right? It's inadequacy. It's insecurity. It's, it's, if, I, if I express like, that I'm scared, if I express that I feel like I'm good enough, then everyone's going to reject me. And I'll tell you, it's the exact opposite, guys. When you're, when you're open and you're vulnerable, I've signed, I've done more business with people because I said, I, you know, for 16 plus years, I physically, mentally, emotionally, and sometimes sexually abused my wife. Right when my when I when I recognize and I let people know that my kids grew up in an abusive alcoholic family or in a household and it wasn't safe for them at all times. When I express that, it connects with people who are in pain, and, and those are the people that are looking for hope. They're looking for a way to scratch and claw their way out of that circumstance. They just don't know how to do it. So people connect with your pain. People will buy their way out of out of hell. People will buy their way out of pain. They won't necessarily buy their way into heaven. So expressing who we are, expressing the pain that we're in, the challenges that we're, that we're facing at that moment is the way to invite people into your life to help you on your journey. And in the process of them helping you in their, on your journey, you get to help them as well. Because when I tell people my shit, when I tell people my deepest, darkest shadows, it helps other people feel normal. They don't judge me. It helps them feel normal, right? So that has been the key ally in all of this. The imposter in charge is, is riddled with, with you know, stories of, of me waking up on my bedroom floor and, and after a, a night with my wife where, where I didn't even remember that I had pushed her out of the bedroom and that I was physically abusive. I mean, these stories are in the imposter in charge for a reason because I feel like I've got people to serve and help. But if, I'm, if I show myself as perfect, then I'm unapproachable. But if I show myself as a human being who has struggles, who's had challenges, who has challenges now, if I show that side of me, then I feel like more approachable, relatable, connectable, and then they let me in, not just in their life, but in their heart.